Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Essential Things and Where to Find Them. I'm your host Gio Quinto and in today's video we're going to be looking at farming Demon Titanite off a specific route. And along the way what's pretty awesome is we can also farm Sunlight Metals off an enemy and we can pick up a special helmet that illuminates a natural light source for darker areas in the game. Which is pretty useful because that keeps you hands free. So, Demon Titanite is used to upgrade boss weapons. One example, as shown on the screen, is Quilog's Fury Sword. There's quite a few awesome boss weapons out there, and being able to have Demon Titanite at your deployment is extremely useful. Depending on the build that you are looking into running into, this method will help you experiment with those weapons a lot faster. So, we're going to look at this route and keep this video short and sweet. So a small checklist before the actual farming route, and both of these items chain into the soul slash item duplication glitch. The first of those being the Firekeeper soul. When combined with this glitch, we can use the one soul to gain five humanity at a time. And we need to do that just because we need 30 humanity. We're going to be donating that to a specific covenant and that will unlock a door that will complete our farming route. And then finally, the Homeward Bone. With the use of one bone, we can chain this with the item duplication glitch to go back to our starting point bonfire after collecting our demon titanite. So now, assuming you've been to Anor Londo and you have access to bonfire warping, we're going to teleport to the Daughter of Chaos bonfire. Now, if you haven't been to this bonfire or this room, it's simple if you're new to the game. You just need to defeat Quilog, ring your second bell, and from the second bell room, you're going to descend another set of steps and across from those steps you're gonna see a illusionary wall or at least a wall that is illusionary I should say. You'll melee that and you'll gain access to this room. You'll be greeted by a chaos servant and you'll answer yes to his question and from there you'll be able to join the covenant in which we need to donate 30 humanity before starting this route and our starting point so make sure you sit at that bonfire now to gain access to this elevator you need to defeat the boss of the demon ruins after you defeat him you'll go forward and ascend steps up you'll eventually come across the elevator so from the elevator and again after joining our covenant and donating the 30 humanity you're going to follow my character you're going to go forward after dropping you're going to make that left and descend down into this area so we're going to come to meet a dead end that is the door that will open to once again just complete our farming route but also really important the enemies in front and after you open this door are linked to Knight Solar's side quest. Now killing all these enemies will help you continue his side quest. If you're looking to fail it and see what happens if you go that route you'll leave at least one of these bugs alive. Now these maggots have a chance to drop sunlight metals funny enough and they also drop the sunlight maggot helm piece which you can use in dark areas such as the tomb of giants or if you're looking to pick up the pendant for the manis fight you'll just slap this on your head really quick so it's really convenient to have at least one. So for the intentions of this video I came down here as a dark wraith to show you that if you're not a part of the chaos servant covenant and you haven't donated the 30 humanity the door will be locked by a contraption so that door does not open unless you're a chaos servant so we're gonna quickly jump into our next clip of being a chaos servant and doing what we were supposed to so once again by joining Quilana's covenant and donating the 30 humanity we are now gonna see that this door is opening for us and the route is complete now just remember you can achieve 30 humanity with ease with the use of a firekeeper soul and the item duplication glitch that'll give you five humanity per firekeeper use and a whole video on how to do that glitch is on my youtube channel so from here make sure you kill all the insects after opening the door and make sure that before the door all those insects are dead too so you can save night solar if you're looking to otherwise you're going to leave one of these insects alive now if you saved him he'll zone to the area below behind me like right after those steps you'll talk to him there he'll be depressed about not finding his son that'll continue the whole quest line and he'll show up at kiln of the first flame and after you talk to him then you can kill or leave those insects as you please as you farm this demon titanite so this is the titanite demon and he's actually respawnable he's the strongest one in the game that you're going to come across and he just tanked three dark beats 
using the Oseal headpiece and the tin crystallization. So it just goes to show you that he has a fair amount of health. So after you kill him, he's going to drop you two, and you can use the item duplication glitch on your Homeward Bone, which I'm actually doing on screen, to teleport back to what's supposed to be the Daughter of Chaos bonfire. I forgot to sit at it, so definitely make sure you sit at that. And you're essentially going to rinse and repeat, so that's pretty much it. You're going to go back and forth between everything, and you don't have to be in the Daughter of Chaos Covenant to access that door once you open it. So once you open that door, feel free to go ahead and join your previous covenant. And I highly recommend you have a checklist of just things you do before investing in the covenant you wanna be in permanently. This is one of those things. So that was the run. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, more to come. I just thought this would be something extremely useful for those of you who are looking to add and pick up that demon type knight to again just expand your inventory and test those boss weapons that you want to add to your builds so if you enjoyed the video uh definitely feel free to leave a like and subscribe as i'll be doing more dark souls videos here in the future covering pvp and pve uh thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy your weekend this has been gia later